This is my shoes of the summer review. When I talk about shoes of the summer, I'm talking about shoes that I purchased or began wearing around June of this year. And most of them lasted until at least August. All in all, it was a mixed bag of shoes. Let me start with the mistake. These are the Solomon Sense Ride. These shoes are garbage, but they're also glorious. And I know that sounds like a contradiction, but let me just say that when it comes to running and feeling the trail, the word sense is there for a, for a reason. You can really feel the trail. These are great shoes when you wanna just go out and run on some rough dirt trails. The reason they're garbage is because they fall apart. And these shoes didn't even make it to 150 miles before they fell apart. I had just burned through a pair of these shoes earlier and didn't learn my lesson. I bought another pair and put a hole in them in under 150 miles. And to add insult to injury, the tread came off as well. I tried to repair the tread, I actually used some Gorilla Glue and it worked for a little while, but in the end, nothing could keep these shoes together and they fell apart. These are great shoes, they run great. They're just poorly made. And that's why you can find them online all over the place for 60 bucks. Because my guess is that Solomon knows these shoes are garbage and they're trying to get rid of all the inventory. And the Ultra Pro, which I also ran in uh, last fall, also fell apart in about the same amount of time. Maybe a little bit more, maybe more like 200 miles. So bought these in June and I retired them by the first or second week in July. Not great. I bought these Ultra Temp 1.5s about the same time I bought those Solomons. And actually they held up maybe two or three times longer. These shoes are zero drop shoes, which means there's no rise in the heel. A lot of people swear by the zero drop. I am not one of those people, but I just wanted to give these shoes a, a chance. So I took these out and they lasted for quite a while, but eventually they did begin to fall apart, I would say around 300 miles. And they fell apart in the same place as the Solomon shoe. Some things I really like about the Ultras is that they have a great gator setup. I am a gator guy. I love having gators on to keep out all the debris from coming into my shoes. So this little system they have back here with this Velcro flap and they even have this little thing now for hooking your gaiters on. I just love it. It's a, it's a neat little thing to have on your shoe. Another downside to these shoes is that I typically run in narrow or more narrow type shoes. These shoes are massive and they begin to feel like clown shoes after a while. I don't know if it's because of the clown shoe design that I end up tripping more on roots but I swear that this whole Ronald McDonald thing they've got going on leads to more tripping. Now for some people, the extra toe space is a welcome relief. People love having all this room in the toes, but not me, I'm just sloshing around in there and tripping all over the place. Great shoes, just not for me. Lasted longer than most of my shoes and they had moments where they were just unbelievably comfortable but not necessarily my fit. So that's the Ultra Temp 1.5. If only these two shoes could make babies, I believe you could make a perfect shoe by combining the best elements of the Ultra and the Solomon Sense Ride. Another shoe I wore out this summer is the Hoka Torrent. I actually bought these shoes last fall and wore them probably four or five times because I thought they would make great fall running shoes because of just the gnarly traction. They actually are pretty good shoes. I got some decent mileage out of them, maybe around 200 miles, maybe just over. But eventually, just like everything else, they did blow up right here. And what I can only describe as a reoccurring theme on all of my shoes. I just destroy them right there. I don't run with anybody else who destroys their shoes in this area more than I do. So maybe when I give these reviews, you should take it all with a grain of salt because 
I seriously don't know if anybody wrecks shoes in that area as much as me. I might just have like a super fat foot right there. Like skinny near the toes, fat near the ball. And that's why I blow these shoes out. The Torrents were okay running shoes. Like I said, not as comfortable as the Speed Goats, but they uh, handled wet terrain very, very well. And I actually enjoyed them. The last shoe I want to talk about is the Arcteryx Norvin VT. These shoes really attracted me for several reasons. One, they've got a Vibram sole, which, you know, Vibram, they get all the buzz. And so I thought, okay, cool, probably a good scrambler. I really like that uh, the idea of these laces being able to tighten up this area, I thought that would be good for side hilling and scrambling. Um, and I always like a little built-in sock. I don't know why I imagine it would provide more support, maybe keep some debris out. And when I took these shoes out for the first time, they felt great going uphill. And then when I ran downhill, it was the complete opposite. Like I said, I have a narrow foot or a more narrow foot. And so I typically run in narrow shoes, but man, on the way down, it was just like, ah! Ugh, my toes were just getting jammed in there. And I ended the day with, if not a blister, definitely a sore spot. The shoes held up well. I actually took them up, I think, Mount Wheeler in New Mexico. I think these were the shoes. And they handled great, but somewhere around 13 miles or so, they just start to hurt. I don't know if it's because of the extra material here. I don't know if it's because of these spots here, but it's no coincidence that the rubbing happens right around here and here. So the extra hardware to make this lacing system happen probably backfires overall and makes the shoes less comfortable. Like I said, I bought them because I wanted to experiment and I wasn't totally disappointed, but I would never buy these shoes again. Um, they just weren't that comfortable. Anyway, stand by. I'm currently running on a whole new crop of shoes. Most of the money I spend on gear actually goes to running shoes. I blow through a pair a month and running shoes just seem to be getting more and more expensive. So stand by and soon I'll be releasing reviews on completely different shoes.